Okay, in this video I want to show you how to set up a uh, Spectral Desktop uh, in such a way that you can uh, connect your hardware wallet to your laptop while your Bitcoin Core and main Spectral server is running in the node in the box. For example, you have uh, Raspberry Blitz or My Node or Noodle Box where you have already Spectral server running and so you have Bitcoin Core there but you don't want to run to your uh, full node every time when you need to sign transactions to actually connect your hardware wallet. So the idea here is that uh, we keep the Bitcoin Core and Spectre server running on the node, uh, but we also run another instance of Spectre in uh, so-called HWI bridge mode uh, that allows uh, your remote node to have access to your hardware wallets on your computer. Yeah, so basically uh, the remote node will be talking to your uh, local Spectre that will give access to the hardware wallets. So it makes uh, the life a little bit more convenient. So I have already a uh, Spectre server uh, set up. Uh, so it is, uh, you see it here. Uh, and at the moment if I try to add a new device, uh, nothing will happen because my hardware wallet is connected to my laptop, not to my node. Uh, so what I do need uh, to do instead is first I need to run uh, Spectre uh, on the computer and the first run it will already ask me if uh, it is uh, if you need to if you want to run it with a, a local server or the remote. So we choose the remote and we uh, provide the URL uh, to our remote uh, node to the remote IP. So basically this is the URL that you are normally accessing your uh, Spectre uh, server on your node. So when we save it, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, and when it starts, uh, it actually opens the web interface for your remote node already. Uh, now we need to uh, do some configuration steps. So first we need to tell our remote Spectre uh, that we uh, want to connect our hardware wallets to our computer, not to the remote node itself. For this we need to go to settings and then here there is a HWI bridge uh, configuration. Uh, so this is where uh, we tell Spectre, remote Spectre, where to look for hardware wallets. By default it will uh, talk to basically itself. Uh, but what we want, we want to talk to our computer and our computer uh, is HTTP, uh, localhost and then the same uh, HWI API. Uh, so this is, ah yeah, and the port number uh, 25441. So this is like the default uh, setting for your local um, spectra. So now when we save this, uh, the remote Spectre will know that it no needs to communicate with our laptop uh, and it will also reload here uh, the page from our local um, Spectre. So we can check that uh, by also going to the local host uh, blah 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 and uh, here we will be redirected to the HWI bridge settings that are exactly the same as loaded here. So if you are using a desktop app, you will already see that uh, our remote node is whitelisted. Uh, but uh, if it were not there, uh, after you saved uh, this uh, configuration, you actually can just copy this IP address and add it uh, in the whitelist uh, and then update. Okay, so now um, our local Spectre knows that if requests are coming from this IP address, then uh, it should uh, forward them to the hardware wallets. And our remote node also knows that it needs to communicate not with uh, hardware wallets connected to the node itself, but to our computer. And now if we go to add uh, new devices and uh, give me a second, I will unlock my treasure. It's Wrist for some reason. One, two, three, four. Uh, and now if I do uh, get over USB, uh, it will connect to the hardware wallet connected to my computer already, to my laptop. And yeah, I see the trailer that is connected, so I can click on that and it will start doing all the normal stuff like extracting XPAPs, signing transactions and so on. So Trezor T. Um, that's it. Uh, this is how you use uh, two spectres, one for hardware wallets and one for uh, Bitcoin Core.